Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tyler. I'm an astrologer. So this is part two of why the ox cannot get a break in the Chinese astrology. So according to the Chinese astrology, there's the 12 animal signs of the Chinese zodiac. The ox is the odd one out. Uh, it gets shunned by all the rest, and I'm explaining the reasons why. So in the last, in part one, I described why uh, the rat, the dragon, the monkey, and the rooster and the snake um, don't do any good for the ox, and the ox just can't get a, a rest with them. Whether, uh, you know, sometimes they're in favor, but it's not always, uh, it doesn't always turn out good, you know, in the long term. And I wanted to mention how ox do with other ox. We're still on the second trine members, which are those of the rooster, the snake, and the ox, the ox itself. Now, other oxen are attracted to other oxen. And, but, in my opinion, there cannot be room for two oxen because they're territorial and they have horns. So I think that's the best way we could probably put it. Uh, both of them are the yin earth signs made of yin earth and the element of earth uh, among the five elements that the Chinese signed, uh, Chinese astrology describes the five elements that make up planet earth. And they're metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. And the ox is the earth sign. So my opinion is that two oxen in one room, that's going to be a lot like uh, uh, an elephant in the room, perhaps. And I'm pretty sure they would butt heads in real life as they would in the wild, in real life, in the wild, wildlife in general. So now I, I happen to know some people that are day of ox like myself. We're definitely, we're definitely friends because, you know, the, uh, some ox are drawn to others. And so, but I don't know, there, there's kind of, um, you kind of sense something. You're like, you know, uh, I, I could imagine that we could have a disagreement with stuff. And that's noticeable sometime. But then again, most of the time, it's probably in the imagination and wouldn't happen in reality. Uh, but anyhow, we're going to get on to the third trine members. And they are the ones of the tiger, the dog, and the horse. Now, the tiger, the dog, and the horse are naturally drawn to oxen because, because members of the third trine are attracted to those of the second trine. And that's how it is in the Chinese astrology. So the tiger. So the tiger is attracted to the ox, but there's an awkwardness because the tiger sign is made of wood, yang wood to be specific. The ox is made of earth. So wood controls uh, earth and it hin it could hinder the growth of earth so therefore wood is not particularly good for earth in the Chinese astrology in, in terms of the elements so uh, in truth uh, the Chinese astrology describes how wood is not particularly good for earth and vice versa um, there's some exceptions though which I'll explain I'll explain later uh, so that's, and it also says that the the um, uh, the tiger and the ox don't get along in general anyway, regardless of what their elements are. So you can have good two good elements, such as rooster and snake, or no, you could have a rooster and snake, which is metal and fire. Now those two elements are no good because fire destroys metal. Um, but those two still get along in general as the signs. And on the flip side, you have um, the rabbit and the rabbit, which is a wood sign, and the dog, which is an earth sign. So wood is not good for earth, but the, the rabbit in general is best friends of the dog in general. And that's according to the Chinese astrology. So you have, sometimes it's not always about the elements. So... But in this case, so that's the case with uh, the ox and the tiger. It says that a lot of times the oxen uh, may try to control the tiger too much or manipulate or bully, bully, bully the tiger around. So that, that makes a lot of sense. And you know, in, in real life, a tiger tries to eat an ox. 
and the ox defends itself with its horns or whatever. So that's kind of an awkward meeting for sure. So the um, on to the dog. Now, the dog and the ox, uh, the, the dog is attracted to the ox, but they don't get along. So they don't get along in general. I guess it's because the dog likes, likes to herd the, sorry, the dog likes to herd and round up other creatures, and but trying to move an ox, like trying to push a brick wall. So uh, from what I read, there's a lot of resentment between the ox and the dog. There's a lot of resentment, turmoil, there's jealousy too. And uh, this is this is a true thing. And I, I happen to... Um, uh, I, I see this among people in real life, those who are day, who were born on Day of the Ox and Day of the Dog, and there, there seems to be a bit of turmoil between them. So that's, that's kind of authenticity in, the, in this matter. So the horse and the ox. So again, the horse being a member of the third trine is attracted to the ox is a member of the second trine. So it's a lot, it's, it's similar to the tiger. Um, so the horse, there is turmoil between the horse and the ox. So the ox likes to push the horse around and the horse just doesn't have it. So that's, but you know, on the, on the good, the good side about it, uh, between the horse and the, and the ox is that the horse is the fi is a fire sign. Ox is the earth sign. Fire nourishes earth. So that's actually a good thing. Being yang fire, the horse, and yin yin earth, the, the ox. Fire nourishes earth. So the elements are good, but the signs in general, they don't really click. So because the horse likes to be free, likes to run free. And, you know, the ox is not so much like that. They just want to stand and, you know, uh, be bossy to the horse. And the horse ain't going to put up with that. And he's, he's going to give the ox a nice Charlie horse, that's for sure. Like a nice yee-haw kick, you know. So we'll get on to the fourth tri members. Now this, this is very, very interesting. Between the fourth tri members and the second tri members are actually inimical for the most part because the second tri and the fourth tri are separated they're separated by the third trine. So there's no connection. They're not drawn to one another. They're not attracted. If you're, if they're not attracted, why would they get along? You know, how would they do any favors for one another if they're not even, if there's no attraction? So there's that disconnection by the third trine in between. So that's what makes the second trine and the fourth trine to be inimical just like the first trine and third trine are, are because they're separated by the second you see, the second trine so you see how it goes so so in this case it's especially no good with uh, with the sheep so the sheep and the ox well the sheep is supposed to be the biggest nemesis of the ox because it's on the exact polar opposite of the circle of all the signs of the chinese zodiac the sheep, sheep and ox are on the polar ends, so they stare one another down. And you know what? They say they could make good friends because they are actually those that are on the polar opposite ends, they say are drawn to one another. That's the only exception of, of those from opposite um, trines. So in this case, between the ox and the sheep, they are drawn to one another. So... I mean, there's that sense, but at the same time, they're really nemesis because they're on the polar opposite ends. So, and, but I find that the, um, the ones that are equally not favorable are the rabbit and the pig. So these are the last two that we're mentioning. So the rabbit, the rabbit is a wood sign. The ox is a, uh, yeah, the rabbit is a wood sign. The ox is the earth sign. So rabbits are not attracted to oxen and vice versa. And vice versa. So um, so they're not attracted. And apparently they say the rabbit likes to compete with the ox because it knows that it's going to beat. They know rabbits know they're going to beat oxen in competition. And I think it's true because the rabbits are fast 
and oxen are slow. So rabbits are, you know, they're always going to win the race over the oxen. So they, I'm sure they get a kick out of it. If that's one thing why, if that's one reason the rabbit would love the oxen, it would be because of that. So, but, you know, how is it fair to the, the oxen is offended by this, obviously. So, because it gets taunted by the rabbit, you know. And uh, so anyhow, in our last one, the pig. Now, this is awkward in a sense. So... So the pig is a water sign, yin water. The ox is, again, earth sign. Earth controls water. Earth uh, kind of hinders water. Water likes to flow, but when earth is in the way, it hinders the flow of water in Chinese astrology. So this is obviously not going to work out well for the pig, and it's not going to be fair for the pig when the ox is present. They they actually say that they do get along in gen okay in general as signs the ox and the pig can get along well as friends but it's awkward it's awkward for the pig because the pig is made of water and the ox is made of of earth earth hinders water so that's the problem between the uh, between the pig and the oxen and by the way those born on day of the pig they say they have the high high tendency to be rich. So, and there's there's a lot of celebrities in the celebrity world. Bradley Cooper is one, and he's he's one of uh, quite a few. Yeah, there's uh, Kate Beckinsale is another one. A lot of celebrities born on Day of the Pig, they say they have a high tendency to be rich. And I have a theory that when they sweat, dollar bills secrete from their skin. And I, I think that's true in the long term. I, oh, I actually know some friends of mine in, in real life who were born on Day of the Pig. They got a lot of this. It's true. No, I'm kidding. I give, I give a shout out to them too. Thanks again for watching, guys. So this was part two of why the oxen does not get a break from any of the 11 other animal signs of the Chinese zodiac. Whenever there's a huge party in the world, the ox, everybody gets an invitation, but the ox does not get an invitation, does not get an invitation. It's the odd one out. So the oxen, he or she, they either get an invitation last or they don't get one at all. They're the odd one out. So thanks again for watching, guys. All the best and uh, God bless. Oh, and I wanted to mention today was August the 15th. Uh, Thursday, August 15th, 2019. Today was Day of the Wood Monkey in Chinese astrology. And uh, because it was a sixth day today, I thought it would be in, in Vedic numerology, it was a 15 day, which is a six. And I was born on a six, February 6th. So that's why in Vedic numerology, it was a fortunate day to do a new video. Thanks again for watching. All the best and God bless.